Ah, I'm Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon Update. Hi, today I need to talk to the people who vote. Sorry, I mean people who vote and elect the lowest level, insane, bass, ackwards, racist, sexist, ignorant, loser, hate-mongering, treasonous humps in our country. <laughs> you know, at least since the Civil War. How are you guys doing? Uh, this right here is a member of Congress who may or may have not gotten her GED. Another one who called Hitler's Gestapo the Gaspacho police. And don't get me started on her doing pull-ups. Really? So between an illiterate failed restaurant owner whose husband works for the oil industry, oh, and by the way, she's on the committee that decides oil leases, Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. and an even more illiterate member of Congress who is a hardcore Christian who believes deeply in Jesus and banged her tantric sex guru gym owner while she was married. I want you people to know, you're really voting below your weight class, honestly. I want someone smarter and more accomplished than me using my tax money, making legislative decisions. And I know that's a low bar, but why? Why did you guys vote for a six-time bankrupt loser that wants to date his daughter and another dude that had a life goal of visiting Hitler's vacation home and was supremely anti-gay, yet let someone shoot this video in bed with his cousin? She's a distant cousin, but she's not too distant with me. <laughs> This dude is the crackiest dentist I have ever seen. These are ballots that can't go to the machine for smudges, tears, whatever. And there, it, you, you do a new one with judges from both sides of the aisle looking over, making sure that it is done right. And he said that Russia is not our enemy. Is that before or after they tried to hack into our election system power grid? This dude told Americans to find other Americans and start kicking ass and taking names. Today is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking ass. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Angry white men and guns. All day, Sunday. After church, come get some guns. And this dude fled his own state to Mexico when the power grid went down and left his dog to freeze to death. This dude, Josh Hitler, sorry, Josh Hawley, gotta get my eyes fixed, said he would try to get the election overturned, then led the Republicans in Congress to overthrow our government. But he didn't bet on this dude. This is a TV doctor who sold butt cream, teeth whitener, and skin tightener to housewives for years, and he may get elected to Congress. And this dude was at the January 6th insurrection and still claims the election was stolen after this guy, this guy, and this guy said it wasn't stolen. He won the primary. Who hurt you, Republican voters? Why would you really want the worst of the worst in charge of your tax dollars, your kid's education? And why don't you want history taught? Our kids need to know it so they don't repeat the bad parts. Why would you vote for people that actually voted against your rights for better wage, health care, to unionize, and to your daughter's right to her own body? Fathers, what if the wrong guy gets her pregnant, the grand theft auto playing dropout who smells like sweat and failure? Then what? I don't understand why you guys vote against yourselves to own the libs? While you can't own a home, why would you vote for the people that throughout history have tanked the economy every time and not the people who bailed it out every time? You aren't owning anybody. I take it back. You're owning yourselves. I'm honestly trying to help. Believe me. All of us. But mostly you. Seriously. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Learn! Jesus Christ, all you gotta do is Google it. Just Google it. That's all you gotta do. Google it. You can tell when people are idiots. God! Hey everybody, Chris from Titus, Titus Podcast. How you doing? Oh my God, we're in a rush today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello from myself. As always, I would like to welcome Bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. <laughs> There could be only one. I know. Okay, so we're so amped up, and we came in like a uh, sorry pilot. We came <laughs> like, like a tornado. We came in like let's go, let's go. Well, she's got a thing <laughs> she's got to do because the dogs got about Scotland. We got invited to the Fringe Festival. We just found out. Rachel thought, eh, we're gonna get the dogs a shot and put a microchip in them, you know, and have Bill Gates, you know, so we can contact our dogs. You came in differently, like unlike the Kool Aid guy that you normally come in like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we uh, anyway. So we have to get the dogs to the. Let's be honest about what's been going yeah, you're on late. for the you last few hours. Yeah. Uh, you said I'm going to write the Armageddon update, right. and then every time mm -hmm. I would go in to see if it was done, you were tweeting. 
You were oh. not writing it. You were, and That's this means un- that there is a Twitter battle happening, and you can say it's untrue. But I will now. No, vote. no, no. That's <laughs> what's untrue is I was doing both. I was actually trying to figure <laughs> out. Uh, so this, the, it's the Armageddon update, as you guys already know, was about uh, why do Republicans vote for Republicans? Like I don't get it. Like what's the, like mm-hmm. how the hell? It, it, so Madison Cawthorn lost his thing yesterday, right? Ah, uh, we're tweeting about Trump. I see. Oh, some you know, someone <laughs> someone said No, no, but that's the old classic. By the way, that's part of it, though. Is like these guys you were talking about it all day long. Why is the news keep saying, "Yeah, well, these guys Trump's affecting these guys without Trump's endorsement. These guys wouldn't have Trump, Trump, Trump." The motherfucker lost six time bankrupt. He lost. He's over. He's mm-hmm. done. Yeah. He's he's obese. He's stupid. He actually wanted people. He queried about injecting bleach during the worst pandemic in a hundred years, mm-hmm. and these morons still follow him. That's what I was saying. Do you know how many times you tweeted in one hour? Have you ever counted this? Because it's and I wrote a and I wrote a podcast. This is and I wrote an update. Well, I uh, I put we put out the white supremacy bit uh, mm-hmm. uh, from the new special, and uh, it blew up. It blew up, and uh, yeah. so I was I'm answering people. Like, you know what's great about the white the white supremacy bit? Some people are like, dude, people needed to hear this. They needed to hear yeah. this, and thank God, this is brilliant. You nailed it, and you were funny about it. And then there's this other, um, I'll call them KKK crazy people who are writing and trying to twist themselves not to explain why uh-huh. I'm flailing I'm self-hating uh-huh. I'm a self-hating white guy I'm I'm I, I'm guilty about stuff why are you a white full of white guilt why I'm and I'm I'm not and, and by the way I don't I don't hate white people I hate racists but uh, mm-hmm. Ken said something perfectly you nailed it perfectly you said what that you so 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 I if, if you say anything this bit except whoa if anything, anything other than fuck yeah, <laughs> you're a Nazi, you're, dude. You're a Nazi. If something, you go, then something triggered in you. <laughs> yeah. You're not a Nazi. That's a bit extreme, but it definitely does trigger something in people. That's this whole that a racist Republican conservative thing now that it's um, white guilt. You're ashamed of your own self and your own skin. No, no, no. People are saying no, no, no. That's no, that's what replacement theory is rooted in. Yes, re- replace. And by the way, replacement theory goes back to literally like Europe in the Middle Ages. Yeah. It goes all the way back. That's a Nazi talking It's point. just a new chapter of it. Yeah. But here's the thing. People are saying, and this is what, what I was tweeting too, is that people are saying that they, these white people are saying that they have been discriminated against. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm sorry, 63% of the population, you're being discriminated against. You own everything. Someone actually, then someone, then it's the, great, the, the great thing about Twitter is Twitter is, just, has the, is, is probably the most democratic place right now. And the weird thing is if you, if like someone like makes a decent right wing talking point, people don't jump on that guy. They're like, you know, we should maybe start figuring out a way to get health care in a way that doesn't screw everybody. You know, there's people that, but if you say the wrong thing, it's crazy. And it's not just people going, fuck you. It's people dropping knowledge. Like someone, someone was talking about, we, uh, we we are being discriminated against, man. You know, across the world, all corporations are hiring. They're just they're not hiring white people anymore. And some guy, but seventy three percent of every CEO in this country is a white man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how many? How many? There memes? were only sixty three percent of the population, but we're seventy three percent of the co- people running the company. So it, 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 everything they've said is just wrong. So we put this white supremacy bit up, and then I was thinking today. I was thinking, well, last two days, I was uh, you you brought it up. Are these the guys, Madison Cawthorn, that's the guy you want to trust your tax dollars with? The guy who doesn't like gay people, talks about trans and blah, blah, blah. And then we have a picture yeah. of him naked, thrusting his penis yeah. his, was, na- into the face of his cousin who's sleeping next to him naked. What's going on? Why is he still in the running at all? He's, like, he's, he's gone. He's, he's out. He got, he's gone. He primary. He got primary yesterday. Okay, he's out. Okay. Boom. You good? Okay. Good. Deep breath. Yeah. We. Okay. There's one. We got one. Yeah. We got Another one. Another ten. But this more? is the dude who, even before he got elected, he lied about the accident he got, and he lied about getting into. Um, and they still voted for him. He lied about going to the Naval Academy. They rejected him. He said it was. He because lied about all of it. It was everything, crazy. Everything. Then he. Then like. Then a hundred and something girls from his school wrote a letter wrote a and letter, said yeah. that. He was a predator. Yep, a hundred and fifty girls at his college. How many, and how many students were in that college? How many girls? Exactly. The politician that was unseated is um, permanently in a chair. So I thought that was. <laughs> 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 
The politician that was on scene was permanently in a chair. I can't stand him. Uh, I can't stand uh, him. Uh, He's a predator in many ways. Yeah. Even that video, the dude was asleep. And hey, you, God know what bless, else that, you know what else happened? If you want to waggle this last your penis election. in another man's face, that's fine as long as he's oh, consenting. Oh, me and Ken, me and Ken just all the time. Horse, horse play. He but just it horse don't play. spend Friday. your time trying to take rights away from other people who are openly saying right. that's their sexual preference. I mean, if you if he hadn't done that, people may have been like, okay. Yeah, that's his preference. Okay, but if you if you say, I uh, this is bad, you can't do this, we can't, do, you, they don't get rights, and then we have a we have a video of you thrusting your naked crotch in your cousin's face, naked, the cousin that you still works for you, you know, and he it's horseplay. What did he say? We were messing around. It was crude or vul- Cr- he called it something vulgar he tried to like vulgar horseplay or something like crass. something like yeah. that they they the republicans are so much projection going <laughs> yeah, all on the time. that maybe that's why they're getting they're voting those people in well there's guilt there's weird like there is a lot of protesting shakespeare said it first but i um it's interesting because it was republicans who supported the person in primarying him to get him out because well, even they realize he's it's he not going to whistle on orgies. I just want everybody to know. <laughs> I, t- I tweeted blew and I whistle, tweeted. I tweeted this joke like out of the that. day, and Rick Wilson retweeted. <laughs> Many people. The day it happened, I said, uh, yeah, "The first number rule of uh, cocaine orgy clubs: you don't talk about orgy, uh, orgy cocaine club, cocaine orgy club." And then everybody else copied me as as it got steer. further. Total steal. I was the first guy. To, I'm sure they're all smart. Rick Wilson's wicked, wicked smart, and he came up with them on his own. People people have parallel thinking. It's not the toughest thing in the world, but he actually just said it. In a, in, a, in a like a podcast like a, like a like a podcast that has less subscribers than us, he was like, "Yeah, man, I get invited to these these Republicans. Like, you want to come to a sex orgy and do some coke, do some blow, and 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 even and yeah. hug some man boobs. <laughs> even if that's if it, let's say it's true, dude." Yeah. Like yeah. did that did that I'm because I'm sure the head of the cocaine orgy commission called him and was like, bro, yeah. the fuck are you doing? You signed a waiver. You signed oh oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you signed the NDA as you were after you, you as were, you were, you were snorting contract, coke sir. off your cousin's penis horse playing. You <laughs> that's mom. You, she's doing she's doing Sharon's right now. She's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do it. You won't believe it, Christopher. <laughs> Um, anyway, so uh, I never thought I'd be so happy to see a man in a wheelchair have his legs cut out from underneath. <laughs> Damn! I I'm gonna I have more. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go, keep go. going. What else? Come on. What do you got? <laughs> well, really, I'm waiting for you because oh, this is God. really your wheelhouse. Oh, I can't. wheelhouse! Now, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's, in it's in his wheelhouse. You're right. It's see, in his wheelhouse. Boom. Um. I am just hoping for Marjorie Taylor Greene and I Lauren just, Boebert to be next. I just hope that the hatred against Madison Cawthorn really ramps up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um, <laughs> now we're gonna get, and the subscriber thing just goes down. As this one airs, it just... <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. I'm an equal opportunity hater. <laughs> it has nothing to do with... So, but my, my point was like, why... Here's I just... I I, it, it's not like it's one guy. Like every, I think, I think we have some people on our that are pretty extreme. Uh, uh, Illinois, they're all smart, but I mean, they're, Illinois. I, I get why th- those people fire up the other side, and I, and I get why you know, like the, like the, they were doing a, they were trying to pass a bill recently, and the squad got in the way of it. The, the bill was to go after uh, white supremacists to give the government the right to go after domestic terrorism. Well, AOC and the squad said uh, that's going to violate people's civil rights. And I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, is it like you pro Nazi thing? The weird thing about Democrats is they were like, they were talking about everybody. We have to make sure that in the bill, it's it's legal that we're doing it. We can't just violate the rights because everybody was freaked out about the Patriot Act um, when it happened. So, uh, but they got in the way and they stopped it. So I get why there's certain people on the left that pisses off the right. But I, what I don't understand is if we have a fucking clown with no background, the Democrats don't really vote the men. If it's a full-out clown, is there, can you think of anything? I'm sure there is. Oh yeah, but not to even, not even close to what. Yeah, but the right. Has. But then you just go. I can go down the list: Bobert, Green, Mo Brooks. Oh, Mo Brooks. Uh, just someone just gave Mo Brook Mo Brooks up, and like ten other people. Bobert uh, in one of the committee here in one of the January sixth committee hearings. I was listening to it on the way over. Gave up like nine people that were actually planning to over Josh Hawley. Like, how can you think? Here's what I don't get. And this is what I was talking about in the Armageddon update. Why do you vote 
against your own interest. And as I said at the end, you, you think you're owning the libs, but yeah, you, sure, but you can't even own your own house. The, the people you voted for have voted against your minimum wage being raised. They have voted against your health care. They have voted against your union, uh, unionizing. They have voted against uh, uh, low-income housing. They have voted on uh, clean water and clean air regulations against it. And that's your health. Why are you, vo- I don't get why you're, vo- you know, I'm a, I am an educated but I picked my party out of education. I looked at the, you know, you know, when Democrats are in, I make more money. And I've looked at that through history and through history back to Eisenhower. When the Democrats are in, the the government goes up. Everything goes up. And when the Republicans are in, they by the end, they crash it. Whether Wait, it's, you mean you're not looking at it as who's holding a Bible for, for a picture? <laughs> oh, no. Well, if no. you do who's, look um, up bad Democrats in history, we have had some In history, I'm saying, I, I'm saying right now. But there are some that I don't love goes, goes right are. now. Gozar, man, go, goes like, go, Cracky. Like, Cracky, what is wrong yeah, with Cracky? Yeah, there's a clown show right now of It's a clown, yeah, but... and, and, and yet they keep voting him. The Mastriano, this guy they just put in right now, was at the insurrection. I know. They voted him in, the dude. They just voted in the guy who's in prison for killing, killing his, his wife. wife who just finished chemo. He got he got the nomination in jail. I, in Federer, uh, Federer, Federer is it guy Federer, Federer? There are some Democrats that I don't love because I do. I'm so tired of like I'm tired of the show, right? Like I'm just it's it's kind of what you were just saying like about the squad blocking the bill because of this thing, and it's because everybody now is so specific in their belief. My beliefs are exactly this. And if you disagree with me, then you're a psycho and you're wrong. Yeah. And so there's no gray area, no meeting in the middle. There's no like, OK, well, I'll give you that. But I can't concede this. That's why nothing gets passed anymore, right. because everybody is unwilling to work together. I think it's worse than that. I think it's I, I think it's to the point now, even if we even if we wanted to do that, let's say, because I mean, when I see guys like, look, I don't here, here's how bad the Republicans are right now. Let me just say really quickly yeah. that that stuff, what I was going to say, is that we got graded on in kindergarten. That was our report card. We didn't get A's, B's, C's then. Right. We got plays well with others. Right. There, was a, there was a section. Shares her toys. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> and these are the things that they Quite bipartisan with the Legos. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Doesn't was. parade around with the Dixie flag. <laughs> yeah, that was a problem. I went to school with that kid. <laughs> Puts blocks in a bag and hits other children. Should be in prison. Looks like he's practicing. That would have also been Titus. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been you too. No, I wanted to be like so bad. I would. Like, I would do anything. Sure, sure. I'll drink your paste. Sure. Each um, Oh, you were the class clown that was kind of. No, no. I was no. I didn't. What that were didn't, you? That didn't come. I was a different class clown. I would wait until it was perfect, and then I would say it, blow the whole room up, and then I would shut it for a month. You somehow just made yourself like the most prolific class clown no, in terrific. the history I, I, of I America. One, no, I was so scared. I wasn't all that. He wrote way, the material yeah, ahead of time. The a class, month? He real, waited a month? Yeah. The real class Until clown, it blew the, the real, roof off? Yes. As exactly. a five-year-old? And then I, 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 I'd take my applause. I would do, get a standing out from the whole class and I would go. Did to, you I, use a I'll lav mic? I'll be back mic? in a month. You know why? Because you don't want to overdo it. You do you use a lav mic then I did. I did. Testing. Everybody, all right. Everybody, this is my 10th interruption. Well, you don't want to be the class you don't want to be that class clown that guy's an asshole the guy that sh- won't shut up is mm-hmm. an asshole you want to be the guy that when that day they're like you surprise them again yeah you gotta and sneak was, it in really I, and i was scared. so you were doling out your brilliance no i scare scare i was scared and i hated myself Perfect. i also knew i was gonna get made fun of uh what was i saying oh it's worse than you said it's not even that they won't work together it's that if they're seen working together specifically on the right, really specifically, if they're seen working together, the entire base turns on them. The Republicans are so bad and they're so into the clown show that the people, uh, Andrew Kin- uh, Kinzinger, Cheney, uh, Romney, Adam Kinzinger, uh, Adam Kinzinger uh, Liz Cheney, and, and Mitt Romney, um, they're out of the Republican Party. They've kicked them out. Like it, like like you can't even. They're so they're so fucking far to the crazy. Here's the weirdest that thing the people about that, that stand that stand for the Constitution, that stand for what America believes in, and whether I agree with them a policy or not, at least they stand for the Constitution and America. The Republicans won't accept them. I saw that. I was like, I'm trying to like get him to just take a deep breath. She actually psychically calmed me down. That's what I do sometimes. (laughs) Yeah. What is happening? Is this some kind of? (laughs) And I was like, and I, you know, it was it was a Jedi mind trick, and I was like, hey, her, her. He will relax. He just has to remember to breathe because he's at a 15. Um, 
what I thought was so weird was now that these tapes that have come out that have completely faded away. Um, but, uh, McCarthy. McCarthy. Right. Kevin McCarthy's tapes right after the insurrection. And he was talking to Liz Cheney and Scalise about the getting Trump out and how they were going to do Amendment. it and yeah. how inappropriate it was and how people were going to get hurt. And he's talking about Matt Gates. everyone. He's on the phone with Liz Cheney discussing it with her. They're trying to figure out together. Right. Well, we don't ever know that happened. The only the next thing we know happens is he puts a vote on the floor to strip her of her as ranking. What was she? She was she was one of the ranking committee members. She actually well, he went. She to, lost all her committee assignments, right? right? right. She lost. No, they, they kicked her out of the caucus pretty much. Yeah. She's out. And so and yet Kinsinger. we now know that he was in agreement with her and right. working with her on getting Trump right. out. He thought she was nuts. Somehow was nuts. that went away. Oh, he thought so the tapes faced. would never come out. And now we know that it's like. I think like the Kennedy assassination, we may never know what happened, but here's what happened. So we have those tapes of McCarthy going, he's out of his mind. This is out of control. I'm going to ask him to resign. He probably won't. Right. Because Cheney goes, Liz goes, do you think he'll, is there any possibility? He said, probably not. I, we know the guy. They're like, they're like talking about casually how fucking nuts the guy is. Mm -hmm. There's literally, and the thing is, that's what, that's what I'm saying. We have all this information now that this guy's a fucking psychopath. And yet the media and the people that uh, vote Republican are still like, yep, that's our guy. All day, every day. So he goes to- Elections Mar that have nothing to do with him. That's so he, all they're talking So he about. goes to Mar-a-Lago. Uh -huh. so, so remember, 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 remember that? he was like, mm -hmm. he blamed him on the floor after uh, January 6th, mm -hmm. then went to Mar-a-Lago and the next day, everything was different. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're going to find out like the uh, like the Kennedy, we may never find out like the Kennedy assassination is that Trump has so much info. This is not, this didn't happen by accident. The dumbest fucking guy we've ever known, the six time bankrupt guy who wants to date his daughter. I don't want to talk about him anymore. I'm just, I know, I'm just saying, but he, that guy, let's move on. From that, that guy who's in New York politics, I mean, New York, like building, like all the most corrupt shit we've ever seen in every Scorsese movie ever. That guy was knee deep in the most corrupt shit ever. If you don't think he's got a bunch of stuff on all of these guys, it's the weirdest thing. To I watch. don't think it has to do with that. I think it had to do with Putin. And I think that it's becoming more and more apparent how aligned he was with what Putin wanted, you know, especially oh, NATO. now with NATO and Ukraine and all of this stuff and how they've really kind of been putting out some reports about how much russia interfered in the election like mm -hmm. in the last month during this war thing and um it's just sort of fading away and then france also um put out a statement saying that russia was trying to interfere in their election right. and the person that was going after trudeau not trudeau uh, macron was linked to putin yeah, very right. intimately yeah, yeah. and closely linked to putin because her father was Yes, and she, well, so was she. She had just come back from there. She made a campaign flyer no. with a picture of that visit. And then he invades the next week, and apparently she pulled all of that yeah, campaign she, material yeah, she stuff. she pulled the flyer. All the posters came but down. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, suddenly in these major <laughs> world-leading NATO countries, these crazy far-right-wing Nazi-esque you know nazi tendencies at least well her father was a nazi um nazi-ish he well yeah he was a little more than that yeah, um they're running against the decent leaders and somehow doing really well and they're always linked to putin at the same time of our election trump had put and submitted plans to build trump tower in moscow and had already agreed to give putin the penthouse like 50 a 50 million dollar yeah and then he runs it's like what you know why else <laughs> i think that the republicans have like this luxury in this room to have a fucking you know circus and you know grift and do all this shit it's because they don't it's easy it's easy to play defense instead of play offense it's much easier to be on defense than play offense so you think that they they just do crazy shit and they go what 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 they just what? want to stop the democrats right and but, that's kind of just block things yeah. and then they just like just like could spin out and do whatever they want they start leaning far right and just doing whatever the fuck they want and they've been right so far look jenny thomas we have a supreme court justice's wife who paid for people yeah, and buses crazy. and helped organize January 6th. And it literally hit the news for six days. It's crazy. And it was over. We're, we've moved on. He's still 
and sitting he's there. He, he, he sleeps decided, with the woman that tried to help throw overthrow the government. He was the only dissenting opinion on... Releasing the emails. Yep. That she would have been implicated in. It's so weird. And, that's how she and yet we're not doing... That's, that's direct proof. And right. we're not doing and it. Not, it feels like there's so much yeah. that nobody can keep up with it. it. As of today, DOJ is asking for transcripts of witness testimony from the January 6th commission. So that made me think, oh, are they actually going to do something? Is that why there's so much that we just can't? Uh, there's For the last six it years, there's been so fucking, since yeah. he took over on a daily basis. When Obama was there, we would hear Obama about every two weeks. What happened? He's in China. Oh my God, what's happening? Nothing. He's visiting. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, Picture, handshake, that's and it. And then every day, and, and this is what I think is going on with the news, is that the news now knows that when Biden got elected, people turned away from the news. The ratings went down. And they know that if they keep talking Trump, their ratings go up. And their advertising yeah, goes up. So and gross. it's all money. But what they're doing is they're ruining everything. Let the let, just quit talking about the guy. Well, anybody who's running for anything on the right still uses Trump as like a bragging point. It's yes. still in their press release. Everybody Trump said this about ran, me. Yeah. Because it works. Because that, but that's what I'm asking. Why would these so people? many of the people that ran in these el primary elections that we've been watching, mm -hmm. even if he didn't endorse them, made campaign videos about what he said about them or showing picture with him, pictures or video? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, that's what I was talking about in the Armageddon. He's got never mind. What is it about? <laughs> what What is it about you people that vote for these? And I know a lot of people. Well, I, get, I see comments, so I guess obviously righties do watch the podcast. But what is it? Owning the libs? I don't because. think writing's watching. I think your Armageddon update gets suggested and when people are watching, you know, you're watching Probably a video too. and it ends and maybe YouTube has a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's got like it does a, not. I it's can tell got you. A, it's, it's got a satirical, like an I ironic algorithm that just goes, <laughs> hey, send that guy Titus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I wish. The bass fisherman guy who's who, who has all the gun ads, send him Titus. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> He'll get sarcasm <laughs> and irony. Yeah, no. But, so why would you vote? The, this thing that concerns me is that currently the GOP, and I talked about it in Armageddon, has, has zero, zero platform. Their platform yeah. for running in the midterms is we have no plans. That's And, and the people are like, good, you have no plans, own the libs. But what, what, first of all, I, I'm an American, I'm not a you know, lib. And, 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 and if the right wing was taking care of the people and the right wing was actually uh, making the economy boom, the right wing had passed infrastructure and health care and done some stuff that actually helped Americans with the tax money that the Americans pay them, I'd be like, I don't know who to vote for. Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious who to vote for. Josh Hawley led an, led an insurrection in Congress. He tried to get the vote overturned on the day uh, uh, of the certification. He went in like they told everybody, announced it. I'm going to go in and Trump's going to still be president. Dun, dun, dun. And he walked in and they didn't arrest him. Yeah. They let him do it. I don't get it. Ted Cruz left Texas in the middle of a snowstorm. There were, he, these people vote for representatives that don't serve them, and they keep doing it. I, what? Uh, Why do they like I feel like this podcast is a lot of bitching. I think it's because we're stressed. It's just like, meh, meh, yes. meh. No, yes. I'm not bitching. What that? No, I want I wanted to be fixed. I, I, I need something that would help I am stressed. That. I am stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wasn't segueing. I was oh, being I, serious. I like you guys are like, oh, here she goes. No, <laughs> I'm no, just, I no. did try to segue like three times, and you talked over me. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why. I mean, I, I need... I want to know why they vote against their own interests. That's what I want. To, that's what yeah, I. Yeah, routinely. Get. That's what I don't get. It's not I, like, I yeah. vote my interests, hundred percent. Yeah, but it keeps happening. It's not like they got duped the third time or whatever. Right. It's every single time. It's been going on since, uh, since. I think it really is more simple than that. I think that conservatives see people transitioning, men becoming women, women becoming men. I think that they see gay couples kissing in a movie couples. or on TV. And a lot, of, lot more interracial couples on Hallmark. Ask grandma. A lot more <laughs> gay couples on, in Hallmark Christmas movies because there never were any. Um, there are now Hallmark Christmas movies that are all black casts. Never happened before. And I think that that's what they're afraid of. That and abortion. 
I think that that is the it's it's way more simple than we make it. People aren't sitting down and going, you know, I agree with this. I don't agree with that. I, I think it's just Democrat vote means that. And it's open season, open borders, open uterus and open <laughs> buttholes or whatever. You know, I, everything's open. <laughs> A lot of openings. See, here's my point, though. See, the Democrats are <laughs> all about opening up. The, the Republicans shutting it down. It was Obama, you know, Don't putting the rainbow on, <laughs> <laughs> put it on the rainbow on the whales. That was like people freaked out. I mean, I think it's more simple than that. I think it's these like three key issues and that's it. So they actually believe that the black family is going to move into their house on Christmas and that uh, their son is going to become a daughter um, and get his butthole reamed. And that's what they're voting. It's yeah. that simple. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly what I said, but close. But you get my point. I were you? I didn't actually get your point. Were you making a point there? <laughs> You're so it didn't, mean. No, I didn't get it. I'm just saying it's all that stupid fear, but and that's why they don't have a platform because the right they're so easy to just go. They're like trans people. It's crazy. They're just like no, yeah, yeah, not yeah. that. Yeah. No, not Im that. Immigrants. They're going to take your house. They're taking everything from you. And yet immigrants add billions of dollars to the economy every time and they take less because illegal immigrants aren't allowed to take government aid period it's 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 against the law that's well uh okay no no they can't get on welfare they can they can help them do whatever they but they can only get i only hesitate on that one because look it up our yeah no i can look anything up but i also know that people find ways around things specifically because rosa uh, oh, who, who is legal um, was bitching to me the other day about one of her helpers who apparently is not legal getting government assistance and Rosa's main source of pride is that she never took a dime from the government but so and so has been taking it every year and da 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 and she's illegal so I'm just saying I happen to know personally yeah, that no, that's, a, that's a crime that, it's not legal that's a crime you know we can say we could also say that there's a lot of apparently it's a thing um i'm just saying you look like a criminal honestly. <laughs> yeah. i understand that that's against the law but apparently it's a thing because it's such a great source of pride to rosa that she didn't and right. these other people in her family and around her do yeah i just wonder what what well, percentage the, is of that i don't know i just know i have to listen to it sometimes um, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm saying it's actually illegal. That's what I said. I didn't say criminals are criminals. Criminals are criminals. It, it's not. It's well, you said uh, illegal immigrants aren't taking government aid. It's by and large. And, and That's what I was responding to. Right. Well, right. You're not getting my point. It's illegal. They keep saying that they get all this aid from the government. No, they don't. Now, if they commit a crime that's i hope they go to jail i hope they go to jail honestly so what do you think about this title 42 situation i think that it, we have to come up with another law title 42 is because of the pandemic title 42 is actually to keep people uh from coming into the country because of the pandemic and we actually had a it was a health emergency totally get it totally agree with it now there is no health emergency they have uh, they have been apprehending. They have two last month two hundred forty something thousand people at the border. Um, they've been g grabbing drugs left and right. So the border patrol is doing their job. Like they keep saying that there's so many people getting apprehended. Do you know what apprehended means? It means they were stopped at the border. Mm -hmm. We're getting about seven thousand people coming across a week. Well, they love to point that. They love to but, laser. But apprehended means on you the need to we work out them. stress, and you need to work that stress out. Uh, I wish I had some right now. By working out. <laughs> I did last night. And now I'm sore, so I'm angry that I'm sore. This episode brought to you by Fitbod. It works so Something good. that he has been using uh, like a crazy person. I, I, was, I was at work. Look, I was, he's feeling his teats I right was now. Because I'm, you know why? Because I'm be slowly becoming a rock. I would like Fitbod to know that thanks to them, every time he works out, we he comes in and does a he pose. Poses? Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to tell everybody that. Well, that it's obviously cool. working, right? Or else you wouldn't be doing that. I don't know. Is it? You're I, not coming in there. Be, I could have that weird. You ever had that delusional thing in the gym where you're like, oh, I'm getting way better. And then like, no. the next, you and the next day, you're like, hey, your pump leaves. You're like, yeah. oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> next you hear it. <laughs> For me, it's more like. <laughs> My first, <laughs> my first fitness my competition, pump. my coach actually said to me, he goes, well, your glutes deflated. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs>
What does that uh, mean? Fitbot, can I talk about it? Because I use it all the time. Uh, so Fitbot, uh, what I love about it is like I go in, I have a list that Zach gave me of where, what, you know, what he did because Zach got in shape when he was on that movie. So I said, give me your list and I'll, you know, and, and we talked about diet and stuff. So what I do now is I go down the list and then I go, so I'm doing, like last night I did uh, arms and abs. Mm -hmm. So I go into Fitbot, I go, and it's got little Fit pictures. Bob. Fit, go to Fitbot. I go to Fitbob. Fitbob. Hello, Fitbob. By the way, this That's is my a friend. That's guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is my friend, Fitbob. <laughs> He's a workout every day. <laughs> so, uh, Fitbod. Uh, and and I, it gives you the pictures. Uh, well, yeah, you click all the pictures of what muscles I want to work. Gives you like, he, so you're so excited about it. He showed it to me the other night. So, you look on the app and there's different squares with pictures of body parts and what they're called. And you just highlight, tap each one you want to do and combine. So, it combines your workout. And then it gives you, it goes, brap, and it gives you... Well, like it gives you nine exercises and you don't have to do them all like depending on what to do yesterday though uh, i went to the time thing and i wanted to, i didn't want to work out a full hour i want to do 45 minutes um so i went to 45 minutes and it shortened it up just the right amount of time and i did every exercise in a row and i did three sets and then two exercises had four sets on them so i did so those. it's timing you it can time you yeah I yeah. didn't know that. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So it's you can stuff, stuff it into, stuff yeah. So which would make you keep your pace up yeah. and stuff. And you can also hit a pause. You can hit a pause button so it, uh, you so you can take a break. Take, I take didn't a realize break. that you could do. I yeah, didn't it, it, see it's, that. I haven't. Here's that. Here's how cool it is. I haven't figured it all yet. I yeah. Got it. I went in last night. Tried to build my own my own workouts that I can keep track of. Like it's it's tracking something. So there's some things I don't know yet. It's a really good app. I, and I'm not an app guy, but I love this app. So it builds on your previous workout. Yes. So you're not going to work the same body part out in a row. Things like that, you or also, you're going to approach it from a different. Well, let's angle. say they give you three workouts, right? They'll they'll give you like let's you pick the body parts, and it'll give you uh, uh, arms and abs. So it'll mm -hmm. gives me it gives me a by exercise, a track size, and it gives me an ab exercise, mm -hmm. or or it'll give me a combination exercise or something else. Well, then it gives me three of those, so I have nine exercises. And if you want to, you can break them up. And That's you can, really yeah, cool. and you can break them up. You can take them out of the set and build your own set. Well. Um, you also enter the equipment that you have. So mm -hmm. if you don't have any equipment, you, you can all, you use this. Yeah. Um, also, it inside of the app, you can see your muscle usage, your recovery, your achievements, your workout streaks, yep. it tracks, um, muscle recovery. So that's, I love that. So you're not overworking a, the same I thing. I got a notification. I was I was on a streak of five and it was like, you're on day five. Ooh. And I was like, oh, thank you, telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Fitbot app, I Thanks, love you. Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fit Bob. Bob, Fit Bob. And you can integrate it with your Apple Watch, Wear OS, that, Smart They need Watch. a character named Fit Bob. Apple Help, Fit Fitbit. <laughs> you can, yeah. So build a fitness routine like Titus did that engages your mind and body with Fit Bob. It does make you less stressed, I will say that. Get 25% off of your subscription or try out the app for free when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash titus that's 25 percent off your subscription at fitbod.me slash titus and i paid for a, a i've paid for a whole year and it's and it's less than one a trainer uh session it was that's what i paid i paid for one year it was less than one trade. You ended up paying like 59 bucks or something yeah, yeah. for the whole year. It's pretty with this promo code. Um, what I like about it, you know, the last thing I'll say about it is that I don't like to, oh, what am I going to do today? That's the part yeah, I don't like. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you have to walk in the gym, you're like, eh, and I go, I go, uh, I mean, I'm, I, I, so all I have to do is pick which body parts. Yeah. And I go, ding, ding, and it goes, I just and did it goes, this and this. Something. And sometimes I'll go, oh, what is that? And I and hit it, and it's got a video, and it shows exactly what that is. Uh, cause, uh, there's a uh, there's a couple things I was like I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the video. Not doing that. I did. You also showed me the videos, which I think is really a game changer because especially for people wanting to work out that are new to it, um, and they're uncomfortable being in the gym in front of people. You can do this at home, and you may have no idea what a workout what an exercise is and you can sit and watch somebody do the exercise it's yeah, pretty I, cool when i first go to the gym i remember going to the gym and i was in there and i'm like i'm just i walked with this machine and i was like okay this gotta do and i grabbed it and i was hugging it and i was like and i was doing a thing and the guy walked up and he goes dude that's the juice bar and so <laughs> i walked away you were doing really well though <laughs> was it fit bob that said that <laughs> hey fit bob come here <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, no, I don't mean to bitch. I don't want to bitch. I just, I just really had this. It's not going to get fixed. If it's like the gun thing, someone asked me, Titus, what do you think we should do? All right, Titus, you're bitching about the gun things. We had the shooting this last weekend. Um, uh, Ten people got killed in Buffalo, New York, a town we love to go to. Great, great shows there, mm -hmm. and we love the people there. They're smart. They're great. They're uh, and. 
A uh, guy walked into a supermarket and shot ten people. Uh, Nazi guy who who put who, tw who live tw he live he was on Twitch live for two minutes. Streamed it. He, yeah. he, he was streaming it. And didn't he also like upload his manifesto? Yeah, like, like half an advance? hour. Uh, half an hour before he actually invited people to watch what was going to happen, and no one called. Uh, yes, he did do a manifesto. Uh, his uh, he got in trouble. His he had cut a, the head off a cat. Like oh, at his mom's no. house. Yeah, they're finding it. Well, she was a she studied serial killers, so she actually like it's part of the. I told you I was in that English training. class where my it was a Shakespeare class because I was doing a focus in Shakespeare for that part of my degree, and I had a professor that would pretend to be British. He really was pretending to be British to everyone, including himself. And he would always have a little teacup and a saucer, and he'd sit with his legs crossed and sip. And this dude would sit on the front row, and he was like shaved head and fully tattooed head and these red glasses and just stare at him. And this was like an upper level Shakespeare class. And he made that guy so nervous. And then he quit coming to class. And I saw in the newspaper when we used to see those that um, he had blended the neighbor's cat in the blender. And also he had been planting them in the ground and lawn mowering over them. Speaking of lawn mowering, um, this episode brought to you by Sunday, uh, which really I love. Bad, that was a really weird. I, I, I think we, don't, we, we might get a note on I that, that segue. Like, we well, like lawn, that. No, 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 no. Lawn mower <laughs> <laughs> made me think of grass, which I have beautiful <laughs> grass. Um, I just sprayed the heat protectant spray stuff. You're I think I farmer. mentioned this you, last you, week. Let's be honest. Groucho and I are farmers, and this, um, this guy's out there every morning farming. Yep, he's he loves to farm, and when I. I do so you Sunday they it's a subscription they send you the stuff for your lawn tailored to your lawn in your area obviously we're in a drought so they sent me this heat protectant stuff to hold moisture in better and so I you just hook the bag up to the hose they give you the nozzle thing and open it up and let her rip just spray it and he loves to jump through the spray it's his favorite part of farming titus you're talking about yes yeah Titus. Yeah. and groucho too okay. and Wee. the great thing is that i don't have to worry about it because the ingredients are things like seaweed and molasses and iron there's no like heavy chemicals or pesticides or any anything that's going to make him sick like that we since we started using sunday so we you actually she said this to me this morning get up and, I, and she goes go look out the window go look at the backyard we were in kind of, we, we, I think we're. And it was just grass. It was just yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it. Hello, I'm looking for. Um, oh, it looks so good. And we. and It, it looked like an oasis. It and I remember like, when we bought the house. When we bought the house, that the hedge was like all crappy. And it was, it was thin. Like you could see through it. Since we started using Sunday, putting the fertilizer stuff on the lawn. The lawn is like thick, you know, and. Uh, Hey, Sunday, we need some gopher stuff and mole stuff. If you can invent some gopher Don't worry about stuff. it. I already had a guy come out yeah, yesterday. Hey, she knew a guy. I called a guy. What happened to the moles and gophers? They got a job downstate. <laughs> Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> we shipped them over to Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Send them to Lake Mead. Hey, they're in a mole farm now. With my luck, though, I'll <laughs> come in the backyard and they'll have the, the poison like... <laughs> yeah. like, these are the gophers yeah. we yeah. have yeah. I had a gopher hey, thanks lady it was great <laughs> thank you lady it was awesome this these, is great these are some persistent yeah. rodents yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one of them in the while I was spreading stuff to get rid of them pop out of the hole and look at me like wow they're taunting you yes yeah. it's the, it's they have the a lot of fingers it's the gopher though. from Caddyshack <laughs> it's hundred percent the go from Canada. So Sunday is so easy. You don't I have to think about it. You don't have to know about it. You send them soil. They know what your what's what you need, what you have. Um, they actually give me a breakdown, like twenty seven percent clay, this much silt, this much, and so they continually send you things tailored to whatever your given drought conditions are. Your current weather, whatever. It's all for and I've that said season. This before, because my dad, I watch my dad get frustrated all the time, keep switching products to make sure eventually the lawn would go good. He'd tell he found some network. Some stuff we put on lawn, burn the lawn yeah. in the old days. Chemicals. <clears throat> so now, uh, <laughs> the, the weird part was, it's so funny when people think, I don't want the government tracking me. Sunday sent us a picture of our backyard from space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do it. Go to get Sunday. Go go to getsunday.com and you can enter your address and actually just test it out. Put in your address and their lawn analysis tool will then generate 
information about where you are, and you'll see a picture of your house. And, and it, it's worked. Our lawn is kicking ass. Our hedge is kicking. Ass. If we did, basically have a like getting nutrients for your lawn. It, oh, it is exactly like that. It's like how we put nutrients in our it body. Is that yeah, it's like a protein? Like I, I was gonna say it's basically kind of like athletic greens for your lawn. Exactly. For the lawn, um, uh, Sunday's offering listeners twenty percent off. Full season plans start at just one twenty nine. You get twenty five percent off of that when you visit getsunday dot com slash titus at checkout. That's twenty percent off your custom plan at getsunday dot com slash titus. They have a bunch of other things too, other products. Go check it out. Great company. I don't. I'm, I'm anyway. Today I was trying to figure out the psychology. I wasn't bitching. I'm trying to figure out the psychology of why you'd continue to vote against your own interests. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, from from the environmental laws all the way to the to restricting voting. Um, yeah, and, and like, then that's like trying to understand mental illness. I, it, well, but it feels like a mental illness, doesn't it? It's a bottomless pit of how many rabbit holes can you go down? When they keep sw- if, if people, if you, I wish the people that do vote Republican and do just vote for Trump or whoever, just because and listen to Tucker Carlson would look at what they're doing every time there's something happens and we move beyond it. Uh, ivermectin, the COVID thing, all proven wrong. Everything yeah, that they, they just said, shut up about they that. just stop talking about it and they go, they're going to replace you. They're going to replace you. They're trying to replace you. Well, do you Black remember people. Trump in that speech? By the way, we're all getting replaced. We're randomly all announced. Right, yeah. We're all getting <laughs> <Eventually>. replaced. <laughs> do you remember By that worms. he randomly announced that they were actually uh, skipping white people in the line for the vaccine yeah. and bringing black people to the front of the line? And we were like, wait, what? what? Where is that? Wait, yeah. We didn't. Never, never happened. Went in Not line. once. Yeah. Nope. But he, he's been doing that stuff too. It's just like, it's just inundates, just slowed, like being poked constantly with this information. Tucker Carlson. But it's all against the law though. Everything they say is flat out against every law of the constitution and it's not happening and it's and it's not and if you all uh, so sometimes i'll see something crazy and i'll look it up i'm like okay what is that and 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 here's what we we hear a lot of yeah well i had two friends that said you know when i was you know by the way it's all everybody knows that it's common knowledge it's common knowledge (laughs) oh you're telling me that that didn't happen i don't want to talk about it yeah yeah yeah. okay hey hey, you know you want you guys you and tell you what you live in your libtard bubble and I'll just live in the real world. You know, I, I, I am not a liberal. I just really try to have compassion for human beings. And you're just a good human being. Not just have these ideals that I believe in, period. I don't want to hear anything else. But I try and think about the humanity of the people in any given circumstance, like the woman who is pregnant by her rapist. You know, I can come right out and say I'm against abortion. And that's great. God bless. Right. But but then if you actually stop and think, but what about this right. what or do, what about or what so, are the circumstances what about the father who's got a 16 year old daughter who ended up sleeping with this loser and is like that dude ain't being in my family well that's a little nah, more nah get in the car I, we're going <laughs> yeah, i got yeah. 200 bucks we're we're out. Yeah, yeah. no not that dude house. not exactly <laughs> nah nah that 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 demon spawn is not gonna eat dinner at my table sometimes that's- you just want to tune the people out <laughs> that you're with <laughs> And that's why you need Ultimate Ears Fits earbuds. I actually am going to North Carolina this Sunday on my month off, my month of Rachel. Um, I am now going to have to travel (laughs) again. Um, But I'm doing it because grandma has to have surgery. So if you guys pray, please um, say one for her. She has surgery on Friday. They found cancer in her colon. She's still a firecracker. So she is, oh, well, you know, she's been at the sports center. Uh, So three, uh, she had diverticulitis too and wasn't able to eat and had gotten really weak and it just wasn't great. But thank God they found the diverticulitis because when they Diverticulitis. When they sent diverticulitis. That's when they found, oh, oh, okay. So that's diverticulitis. Yes, diverticulitis. That's when they found the cancer. (laughs) Had they not found it. (laughs) My dad, my dad used to say diverticulitis, so I started saying it like that. Everyone, and I told him, I finally realized grandma, my sister, and he all say it differently to me. And I was like, It's finally, not a word that you go, oh, what did you, what did you mean? Everybody knows what I mean when I say it. rhymes with your that, own name. Yeah, so yeah. it was because yeah, of that. She was unable to eat. She was throwing up and stuff. And when they went in and looked, they saw this mass. So, it was, oh, so they, made, so they think they that they're going to be right. able to remove it 
and that's what I'm praying for Piece if of colon. you guys beow, will beow, too. Beow. But she, in this week where she should be really, you know, not well and weak and tired. And she, first of all, she sent me the recording from the doctor's office and he was like, well, I want you to think about getting surgery. She goes, I'll do it. And he goes, well, just take some time. Speak. To, I'm going to get it done. You said, I need it. Let's do it. When you, when you got something wrong, you, you do surgery. And I was like, I okay. love her. so he goes, well, maybe, That's you know, not who I'm married to, and then the she goes this Friday. <laughs> yeah, like, she's she's running the schedule. What are you talking about? I've been yeah. more proactive with my health than anyone else in my house. I, I have will my say. eye surgery on next Thursday. I yeah, it today. for your eyes, but not for anything else. Your heart. You, his patience level. He left halfway through his physical and not. never they went said, back. And what said? He, I'm fine. I'm he fine. never I went back. He didn't do the heart thing. His dad died at no, this age. No, they told me I could leave. I, I thought it was done. They said, you're done. I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. There still then, shit plugged into you. Like that's three weeks, that's three, not their story. Three weeks later, they're like, uh, where's he coming so back let me the just, I'll, I have to leave here in four minutes. So let me just tell you. I was going to tell you about grandma, but now I won't. Just say a prayer for grandma. Um, I made sure that I charged my ultimate ears, fits, earbuds, because I am going to be traveling, and I will want to tune some things out. And the case will charge him for 12 hours. The, there you go. Uh, my grandma, last surgery that I went to be with her for, they had, when they operate in your abdomen, they have to fill it with air uh, to, no, yeah. to see what's inside it. They blow it up, everything. have a light, they do the little laptop, oh, they have a camera. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you that the person that cares for the person that had that has a really rough next five days. And the air comes out. I'm just saying the air does it come out eventually yeah, over yeah. time. And it's In different loud and aggressive. And, trajectories. And yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. those older people might say, lift their leg up in the air before it does escape. <laughs> and that's how you know it it's shift. about to happen. Yeah, leg like shoots a, up off the recliner and there is so- You get a gust. I am it's traumatized. Like a predator letting you know. I'm traumatized. <laughs> uh, marking its territory. Little socked foot shoots yeah, up yeah, and I'm like, like, oh. It's like the peacock of flatulence. So it's your, like, ultimate, like, ears, your oh. ultimate ears fits earbuds. Um, we've told you guys before, but you open the package when you're ready. They, You put them in, you go to the app and you start the mold molding process and they literally mold to your ears right. it's your ear print nobody else can steal them i right. but don't, don't uh, i run every day with mine yep. and when i'm in, at grandma's and they don't move i when i don't when you get them people they're great by the way sound is great they fit when they're in i, I was using my, i had my other ones to uh, my old my old style ones and i had to keep pushing them in all day because i had to get my mm -hmm. eyes to dilated mine would fall out when i was running so i couldn't read and right and they fall out when you're right uh, yeah yeah <laughs> UE fits, mm -hmm. my God, how how good they are! But don't open the package till you're ready to do it because yeah. it's light activated and heat and and with and with a little bit of the power from the thing. But your ears get warm is really cool. It's the like sound it. is night and day difference yep. from the other ones that were they don't in my house out. before. It stays where it is. But it, you can adjust the EQ on the app. It's just really cool. The app is free. Yeah, so just download that, um, and you can answer calls on them and stuff like that too. They're just they're awesome. Um, so if you don't like them as much as we do, they'll take them back. You will, but they give you a 30 day money back guarantee. Plus, you get free shipping, free returns, and a one year warranty. Use promo code Titus at ue.com slash fits to get your pair of UE fits. That's UE dot com slash fits promo code titus good headphones they are really I, I actually wondered why i didn't earlier when the rare grandma jean feels threatened <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering what <laughs> she will shoot her leg into the air to let was... you as a warning to know what's about to come her defense mechanism activated the grandma jean will toot down the hole to the bed <laughs> when mating the grandma jean <laughs> do not let grandma see this one no but i might have you know, family members that tell her, and then she is. Uh, I, I have to say, I play words with friends with her all the time, and she is. She is just the best person, man. She's all week. She went to the gym this week, and she told me that the bikes were all taken up by the white hairs because um, all the. Oh, she said all the old people. She goes because if you go She's between nine and ten, it's white hair hour. She's eighty eight, um, and so she decided as of Wednesday that she wanted a recumbent bike in her house uh because she's been walking a mile every morning but she wants the bike too so now we have a bike it's it was there the next day actually so yeah she awesome. she doesn't mess around Good i'm for just her. saying yeah i'm gonna be so late for this appointment I mean, she's already supposed to be there in five minutes fun fact 
Do you know what the bird of have Redondo we done this Beach long is? We you have to leave in a minute, right? I do. All right, let's I do this. I gotta do one more though. So. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, no, we're not doing fun fact yet. Uh, well, who's the, who's the last one? Who's our last thing that we use all the time? Let's go for it. This is another one that we use all the time that I will be sad to not have at Grandma's house. This episode brought to you by Hello Fresh. Uh, Hello but I'll Fresh. have it because she's going away and I get to make my own stuff. Yeah, but you'll have to cook it. I know, but I like that. <laughs> it's ABC. It's like having a coloring book. Uh, you definitely feel like you're on Iron Chef or something. It's like you're doing things you never did before. Right. You're definitely zesting lemons into everything, which brings out the flavor and In ways. things I never thought of. Um, You've cooked me stuff. And you, we, I said, why does it say that you said I zested a lemon? And it, I don't taste lemon. I'm like, it just. Yeah. Wha- yeah. Something about the acid mixes. It's so yeah, good. Whatever. Yeah. Is that um, what it is? There are also, they're really expanding their menu. So we've told you guys, there are some of the burgers that we just feel wrong about. Um, it's like better than you would get at a five-star restaurant that served you a top burger. It's like, I don't know why it's, it's so good. You plate stuff sometimes and I'm like, this looks like something I would get if we went downtown LA. But it's them. I, it's the picture. I they know. give you a picture you. and tell you what to do. Um, they have healthier things. So like we had the street cart style turkey bowls. Remember the mm, Mexican good. bowl? That, that was so good. And they've started having more vegetarian options. So if you don't want to eat meat all the time, um, <clears throat> like this week, I was just looking because I had to go back and decline it um they have buffalo cauliflower tacos which you sound it. awesome because i yeah because i'm not going to be here yeah, but i'm going to be here but you'll never cook it I let's will, be honest i will too i will call cucumber Highlander. salad stuffed pita pocket so if you don't want to eat meat all the time they've also got the mushroom and herb shepherd's pie that is the shit good that was really good um all, I, all kinds had, of stuff I, salmon shrimp steak just so i can see so you i've come home from the shop working mm-hmm. with highlander or whatever we're doing and i come home and you put it, and I go, wow, did you make this? And you go, it, it's hella fresh, and it is always. I There's not been one thing you've cooked, not one thing you've cooked that I was like, eh, not one. You actually started when I make my own stuff for the nights I don't have this. You go, is this hella fresh? <laughs> like, you think <laughs> everything is hella fresh now. You said she, she plated it. That's Sometimes like she'll put in chef so, language. Here's the thing. What I was saying is that she'll makes her, if she makes her own stuff, she doesn't plate it. She gets plate, plate and puts on. If she, if she gets hella fresh for some reason, because she's got the picture, it'll be, it'll, it'll show up. And I'm like, Oh, yeah. oh this is obviously. Oh, you've fresh. got the, <laughs> the green onions that you're sprinkling <laughs> over the yeah. top. Yeah. You're yeah. zesting the rest of the lemon, you know, cause they, it's in the picture or right. they told you to do it. Um, so obviously we love this. It comes to your door. You can pick your own things every week. You can add more meals. You can, say four people two people you can say three times a week two times a week whatever it's you can tailor it um and it takes the stress out of your life so it does the bags sit in the kit in the fridge with the label on it yep. with the label you can pick what you want it's i I, and you get weird about food. Like if you like, I'll come over. You want to pick something on the way home? I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. And so when we when we get takeout with HelloFresh, you've never had to do it. You're. So- I've, I've never said that. Here's here's the ongoing argument. No, you don't know. You don't, I don't is know. that I always pick. No. You're the one that says I, I don't, don't care. know. No, I don't care. I say I don't, I don't care. care. I you picked say, I don't six know what out I of want. seven. I heard him he say just, that the other day, and I was like, "No, that's not what you yeah, said." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just completely made something up. I know you say you you uh, you, you don't know what you want because so you, you, I want but, you to pick one. But you have a list, but I don't want just one day. Help me. I just don't care. I, it's food. You know it's he cares. Food. You've all met him. You can tell it he cares. It all turns into poop. I don't care. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> On that note, go to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash Titus16 and use code Titus16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Titus16. Use code Titus16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. This is America's number one meal kit. There's a reason why. I'm stunned that they keep keep using us. We, we always we love them how could you well, not no, no, when we, we talk them, about it we're the like way we talk about we're, we're funny and silly and stupid all right you have to get out of here go to get the boys we have to go to scotland so the boys are gonna go uh a uh, little hand for rachel you and i are gonna try to figure out you and I, him and i are gonna have a dude conversation about how to figure out these people that keep voting republican oh i can't wait to hear oh it's gonna be good all right, all right you're all gonna right, miss puppy. the fun fact oh wait let's That's do a bummer. it before we go no, to... please call me and give it to me i was supposed to be there five minutes ago all right you got puppies i do all right go see your mom bye yeah. buddy Bye, guys. Bye. He he wants to sleep still. He was still... No, he squeaked.
Bye, Bumps. Oh, I couldn't wait oh, for her to ladies. leave. Come Jesus on, ladies. Christ, come on. Come on, ladies. Thank God. She's just <sighs> always wrong. I'm all, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so uh, so she keeps saying you know, I, that we sound bitchy, but I don't sound bitchy. I, I really started to kind of wrap my mind around why. Like, you're literally, it, it doesn't take any time at all to go on Google or your phone and look up what the truth is, you know, to find 10 articles. There was something someone was talking about. Yeah, but about. maybe for them, like, their Google is only showing them Fox News. I, I think they don't want to. I think they, I, I think there's a, if you look at how it was built, if you look how it was built over the last six years, fake news, uh, fake news, uh, yeah. deep state. It, uh, and mm. it was just, and it, it's it's the Hitler playbook and it fucking works. Okay, so works. I bet how many of them don't even have internet, and they're just getting fed Fox News and old Rush Limbaugh reruns. There's a Tucker Carl. Here, here, and the sad part that makes me the sad is that yeah, it all Rush Limbaugh. I don't think it's over, but there's a lot, and we lost a lot of conservative radio hosts to COVID. <laughs> yeah, God damn, did. did we lose? We lost like nine conservative radio hosts. Hey, it ain't no COVID. Uh, by the way, uh, Bob's Ooh. dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back with somebody new. <laughs> and they'll be wearing a mask because we need to keep the show going. Um uh yeah, you're right. I mean Tucker Carlson is I guess like I uh, t- we, there was two things we talked about. Like, Tucker Carlson is like the number one rated news show and that scared me. Because yeah. that means that they're all tuned into it and whatever that fucking that 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 fucking closeted gay assistant mm-hmm. soccer coach looking dude uh uh talks about they seem to go for it and he's been it's funny because he expounded uh white replacement theory and then this guy yeah went in and shot all those he's people inspiring and encouraging yeah yeah these young impressionable you know and, and the thing is crazy is crazy it's not he's not doing it to everybody, sure but, but but also at what point as a journalist do you have responsibility for what you say and and we've lost that once the fairness and, doctrine and i was going to say we've lost that's it. why we need to bring that right. back we need to kill Citizens United. Citizens United. We need to kill yeah. the filibuster. We need to, like, it's like four well, or five major people, things. But people always talk about originalists. I'm the originalist in the concept. What is that? Originalists. Really? Well, mute, everything changes. And the, and the, even the, the founders were That's like, what hey, this they be, said. They, they, we need to change this. Adapt That's why it. they're amendments. We amend shit. We actually make yeah, change. That means it. an update. Yeah. As things change. Let's change this too. No, we can't do it. It's constitution. But but and and the thing is that what I what I don't get is I want flying cars. I want to live to 150. I want that kind of shit. You Why? don't want to honk at anybody in the air, though. That's <laughs> I know that. Someone You're pointed out. You're fucking flying Prius. I kept I kept thinking about that. Someone said that. Someone said recently they were like flying cars would be a problem, and I go and, and I was like, yeah, fuck, I, that's all I want to do is be pissed in the in the sky. Because then you got Prius is coming at all different someone angles. Goes, no, it's it's three dimensional space. You got up and down. There's a lot more lanes. There's yeah. a lot more opportunities yeah. for, for people <laughs> to get in your fucking way. Possible, uh, but but I think they they these people that want to be originalists they want to hark back to another time, and, and I think this is what it comes down to. It comes back to a time when white men ran everything, everything. Yeah. Women, they couldn't. Women couldn't have credit cards. They mm-hmm. couldn't vote. Black people were slaves. Even even after slavery, black Jim Crow. So you go to, to like 1968. Yeah, exactly. And, and As Chris beyond. Rock did a great bit about that. He he goes he goes uh we he goes we became sl- slaves 400 years ago all the way up to about 1968. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, well, women couldn't get bank accounts until right, like yeah, the or credit cards, 80s or something. You had to have your husband's name on it, everything. And so what's happened is is these white men have decided that they want to go back to a, another time when they ran shit. And it, there's a great quote, I don't know, like I'm going to paraphrase it. Uh equality, if you've ran things, you're if you've if you've been the head dog all the time, having other dogs rise up to your level so you're just equal with them feels like you lost. And I'm paraphrasing it. This is a better, much better quote than than I just said. But and, and so that's that's a weird mentality because if you are, a, let's say, a peer, right. a, a fellow comic comes on, right. you don't feel like a sense of competition. You feel a sense of, um, I don't know, I used like to a brotherhood, like a I used, sis, I used like a familiar. Before I was secure with myself, I did. I think everybody. Okay, was, so there's, it's an insecurity. There's a, yeah, it was insecure. Okay. Yes, before, but now I don't. Now I'm like, I'm like, if someone, if someone rocks, I'm the first guy to walk on stage and go, dude, did everybody see what we just saw? Yeah. Holy shit, that it was, was an awesome. awesome. Yeah, right. And and what people don't understand is that is a rising up together as opposed to if I keep these fuckers down, I get to hold my position. But what a fucking weird way to live. Yeah, 
Like what a weird way. Yeah. Your position all the right, but and these people that vote for these guys that are convincing them to do that, your position sucks already. Yeah. You're, 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 they're not voting for your wages. They're not voting for your health care. I mean, I'll go through the list again, but they're voting against women's rights. No, nobody here is winning. We don't have health care. Right. We don't have, like, like there's and no, the, what are they but taking? That's why the people in charge say it's them. They, they don't, they don't say, hey, we run shit, so we're holding you back. They go, no, 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 no. We would love to give you everything. But them. Those them. I did it. We, they, them. I did it. And I did it in Amerigeddon. People go to, if you want to go to uh, see my comedy specials, go watch Amerigeddon. Uh, I did a I bit that I, it's one of my favorite bits ever called We, They, Them. Uh, and it's never, it, it's, it, it, it's we, it's we, but they convince us it's, uh, it, it's us. It's, it's we and them. And, 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 but it's always they. It's them and us, but it's they who run shit and they keep us fighting. Uh, uh, it's much I wrote it funnier it's way funnier <laughs> Jesus Christ I'll just I, drop that bit in I don't even remember yet for God's sakes <laughs> but you're right they always need a boogeyman they always need somebody boogeyman, to like boogeyman that's exactly it. somebody that's to like exactly. go after yeah and the thing is that there's a level of people that that are not Look, I'm dumb. I'm in a sense that I don't have an education. I, I am a D, I am a D minus F student. I didn't go, you went to college, I didn't. And so I became smart on my own by trying, I'm like, I realized one day I'm not stupid, I'm just uneducated. So I started really digging into it uh, about 12 years, 12, 14 years ago. I was always good at comedy, I could do comedy, but I didn't know shit. Comedy made me start to learn shit. Then we did the podcast and all of a sudden every week I had to be on my game. And as that's happened over 12 or 13 years, I have become a lot more knowledgeable about the world and how it works. And I got to be honest, it's fucking disheartening. There's some shit that I've noticed as I, as I yeah. did like, really? That's how it works? Mm -hmm. Wait, Congress gets to make their own rules all the time? Imagine if you just could come in and go, hey, Titus, I get paid this now. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, sorry, I voted for it. I voted for it. I'm like, wait, but I didn't get to vote. If I could go in a comedy club and go, no, 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 no I'm, I own, uh, by the way, I get 100% of the door and I get 50% of the food. Just fuck that, 70% of the food, food and beverage. And then tomorrow I'm going to own the building. Yeah, and that's, yeah, yeah, and that's, yeah. But they do that in Congress. And, and the more you dig deep, the more you get this, um, I don't know, man. Oh, it's a re resignation. I guess resignation to how things work. And, I, and that's, I think that's why I'm on Twitter all the time fighting and for the dopamine hit. Titus, you're great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's sad, as sad as that is. Uh, but I, 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 I'm, and people always ask, Titus, why do you care so much? I'm like, why don't fucking you? Like, why don't you? What are you just gonna? Because here's the thing: every society through history that has failed, they it failed because people weren't fucking paying attention. Yeah, but you really need to know history to True. understand that, right? Well, lack of education is a fucking circle. It's just yeah. a bad circle. Yeah. Well, but but that's the thing though is that like, but that's what I started doing is I started going digging deep. What happened here? What happened? What happened? And then you start to see the pattern repeat itself, and the pattern's repeating itself right now. Yeah. For some reason, people are like I'm tired of fucking everybody being nice to each other, which I don't quite get, but okay. I'm tired of uh, you know having a society where people get welfare and I'm busting my ass. Well, they're busting their ass too. They're just trying. They just can't fucking. They they're busting their ass as hard as you are. They're just not making as much money. Yeah. Um, and now the government's going to make them have more kids so they're going to have less time to make money. Like, I don't mm -hmm. quite understand. And so it's these, all these things kind of come together as this fucking, uh, this mountain of bullshit. And then we find ourselves, it's just going to gone. It's just going to be gone one day. It, everybody that's lost their society didn't go, I knew that was coming. They were like, fuck, when, yeah. when did this, when did, wait, wait, what the fuck just happened? Right. Cause it's usually so slow moving right. and you can't see right. the differences. But we're kind of. Right. It's kind of fast right now. We're starting to see it. But, but, but from, the, but it yes, from like voting it. rights to uh, taking women's rights to uh, to having all these fucking right wing guys like DeSantis just bought three airplanes with the taxpayers money in Florida. Bought three fucking jets. No shit. Three jets for uh, after he for, just for government use. Yes. He bought three fucking airplanes. And and these people in Florida are like, yeah, hey, we fucking love Ron DeSantis. Like, but, uh, didn't he just uh, change the Disney uh, tax? Disney, well, uh, Disney fucked him though. Disney goes, Disney. He's like, all right, Disney doesn't get their special thing anymore because they're so woke. So then the taxpayers have to pay what Disney was paying for. Well, them. here's yes, but here's what happened. So Disney was like, well, you can't do what you just said because we own a billion dollar tax liability, uh, infrastructure liability, whatever they have to do. It's a bond. 
So if you do that, you have to pay the billion dollars. And and did you? And, and, shit, said, oh. and shit got quiet. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you really, oh, yeah, oh, you really oh, fucked you yourself, didn't you, Ron DeSantis? Oh, 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 oh. Take that, DeSantis! Oh. Well, yup, yup. <laughs> Ron's not the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Have the animators at Disney just do a, like a, a, a political ad. You guys remember when Ron DeSantis fucked all y'all? Well, he's gonna do it again. Don't vote for Ron DeSantis. Um, but but we've we've lost it, and, and it's sliding. So you've got these weird governors, like they're electing Mastriano. This guy Mastriano was at the January sixth insurrection, and that's another thing is is. Can you you can't argue with someone who saw some shit with their own fucking eyes? Yeah, and they deny and it. Did something illegal? Like, we all, yeah. I saw the same shit you did. <laughs> like, how are you saying that was an insurrection? They were fucking throwing shit and fucking hitting people with sticks. What they they ripped up the con the they sh smeared shit on the walls of the Capitol House. It's like an identical copy of the other historical insurrections. Right, right. Well, that's what I don't get though. Is like this is this is what's confusing me, and 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 the fact that we are in. Uh, uh, late stage capitalism with the wealth inequality. Oh God! It has all the earmarks. Let's talk about of Elon it. Musk a little bit for a second. Holy shit! Yeah. So I've been going after Elon Musk on Twitter. He doesn't give a shit because he's got ten million followers, and I'm I'm sure I'm just in the din. But he said yesterday, he said the 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 current president is the guy who's ever running the teleprompter, and I'm just like, yeah, for Biden, he said that's who the current president is, just telling him what to do. And I I kind of go. Biden, through a stutter, as 80, is fucking 10 times more coherent than yeah. Trump ever was. Trump said we, uh, the Continental Army invaded the airports. Like, like it, it, he wanted us to inject disinfectant. He queried about that. He, it, it, and you look at what Trump has said and you go, how the fuck, how, how are you so blind that you can't even go, all right, Joe Biden's old. I even do President Pop-Up in the new show. I'm like, but- He's obviously on his, if I knew an 80 year old that on me, like, can I get some advice from you? And he's a good dude and he's got a good wife. And He's night and day yeah, from fucking but, Orange but, Man. But, again, you and I can say it all day long, but why, what is it? Like, there's something that needs to be unlocked. And I, it, it's almost, keep it, cult is coming up a lot now. There's a cult thing. And Elon Musk, who said he got into this business uh, to help the planet, save the planet and do uh, Tesla and Tesla, save planet, solar. I, we got to, climate change is going to kill us all. I don't know what the number was, but there was a number he hit where he flipped. And now today he's like, he said, this is my first time in my life. I'm going to vote Republican because the Democrats, this is a quote, Democrats are full of division and hate. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what he said. Who is full of division and hate? Yeah, the Democrats. The ones that are chanting uh, replacement theory yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, shooting. Jews will uh, not replace us. No, yeah. Uploading no, those racist guys, manifestos. Those guys are love and, oh, and, 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 and oh. togetherness. Jews will not replace us, guys. Those guys are good. Okay. The people that are going like, no, 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 The no. Paytons and the <laughs> Dillons are, those guys are full of, of love? Okay. Yes, exactly. With the, tor with the torches from Bed Bath & Beyond. Yes. Yeah. Those guys. So... Um, and the th funny thing is about Elon Musk is I, and money is such a, e you know, the root of all evil. It's so funny because, man, all these things that all these all the shit that was said a long time ago is so true. Always. Um, he said he was talking about he was, he was talking about Biden bad. But I pointed out that the reason Elon Musk is Elon Musk right now is because he got a subsidy on every Tesla he sold of seventy five hundred dollars. So for many years, the only profit Tesla fucking made was because the government was giving them money back on every car. So they were getting a giant fucking check. Because we paid it. Our a taxpayer our money. Our tax money paid Tesla to keep making Teslas. And I've purchased two of them. So so you got this guy who, because of the fucking government, he would have went bankrupt without those subsidies. Yeah. Because of the government, this fucking guy is, a, is $200 billion now, and now he's bitching about paying the taxes for the government that made sure he's as fucking successful as he is. And that's when I get mad. His like, number is a lot higher than others who have made the switch. Yeah, his number, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. at least, you know, yeah, I, yeah. props, it props was, to that. It was right around 125. I think Elon Musk has a problem with uh, looking foolish. I, I was there the night when when the Cybertruck got got introduced. I was there. I got I had a buddy that worked there. I would not go again. I, I mean, now I'm like, I don't, I, I feel weird because I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the guy. I used to think the guy was about, he put all his patents up for free. And then I realized later, oh, he put his old patents up for free that he's not using anymore because they're already fucking beyond them. That's what he did. So 
when he threw the thing at the at the cyber truck window and it shattered i was uh, i was up in the vip section i was like oh fuck yeah and, oh wait and, he's kind of you saw he's him kinda full turn of shit. around and he the look on his face was literally like it was like a kid that out of the blue got hit with a volleyball by a bully yeah it looked like he was like, oh, oh, and then he tried to yeah. joke about it and stuff. He's a little bit, you know, wizard from Wizard of Oz. Kind yeah. of like it's and a little yeah, bit. It's not it's exactly. A little, he's a little shifty. There's there's some cracks. And then it, and it's another proof. That it's another thing that money does not fucking make you cool as shit. Money, no matter how much money you have, some people will accept you because you have the money, but it don't make you cool. Then what happened was is he he did that thing about Bill Gates. He got fucking tr drug. He, Bill Gates shorted Tesla stock and Bill Gates won big because Tesla stock has now dropped in the last two weeks, 380 bucks a share. Some crazy, some crazy number. Oh yeah, it fucking went down. And I think it's because, I think it's because Musk seems a tiny bit unhinged right now. He seems a little unhinged. And I think people are like, hmm, this guy was directed and on focused and on it. Now what the fuck is going on? Um, any, anybody who is worth $200 billion and tweets as much as I do, <laughs> I do it cause I'm trying to get people to come to this show. But if you are worth 200 billion and you tweet Who's just on the board of like yeah, how many companies? Yeah, like six, yeah hold and, on and, everybody. Wait a gotta, second. Uh, uh, Titus gave me shit. Yeah. I, I don't, just added me right now. Yeah, if I had, it, it, you know, if I had any money, I'd be like, I ain't got time to tweet. Oh, I got to keep this money. Uh, but he... I think there's a there's an embarrassment thing in him. So he tweeted the thing about Bill Gates. He did a meme of Bill Gates with a big gut because uh, Bill Gates had shorted Tesla stock, and he said, "Bill Gates, if you want if you want to lose a boner fast, I think we talked about it on the show. If you want to lose a boner fast, and he put up a picture of Bill Gates, and I put a picture of him up when he had no hair before he got hair plugs, and I just said, or faster, and I told you about this, and I think he, and then every I wasn't the only one. About a million people went after him for that fucking shitty thing because Bill Gates has given like. Forty billion dollars to to vaccine production and eradicating diseases and eradicating like dengue fever and all this kind of crazy shit. Bill Gates is trying to save the world. Yeah, and Elon Musk is trying to buy Twitter. And right there you go, like what is fucking wrong with you? Nobody should own Twitter. It should, right, it, it, it should be like a democratized. Well, then you got to be part of that. I mean, if it's a private company, but I'm just saying, Twitter's a Twitter's like is evil. And I'm and I'm I'm big on I, I mean I'm I'm big into it. I'm like ah, rah, rah. Um, but anyway, so I just think that he's he's got Asperger's, which I you know it's fine. Every you know it, that doesn't mean anything. He's obviously incredibly successful, incredibly smart, but there's something there's a disconnect in the dude that he doesn't he doesn't it, and it, it seems like the cracks and are it, starting to show. Yes, that's what it is. As I said, I tweeted, I, I said, I said, look, he's about two, two weeks away from wearing clean Kleenex boxes on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> like Howard Hughes used to wear Howard Hughes used to wear Kleenex boxes yeah. on it. I, 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 there's a point when you have so much money you got a bunch of people kick, kissing your ass you're in a bubble of agreement nobody's calling you you, have any, you, don't, have, you don't have any friends there's jars of piss around your whole house yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen a dude I've never seen Elon Musk go this is my buddy Phil Phil doesn't, doesn't take any shit and there's nobody there yeah there, yeah yeah but if, yeah if yeah well that, that could happen too um, but he's, he, and then he moved to Texas and he put on the big cowboy hat. And I thought when he had, when he had the giant cowboy hat, I thought, Oh, what is it with rich guys and cowboy hats? No, no, it's, he's not accepted. He, I, I think that he's still, oh. I mean, he moved to Texas took and, and he's not accepted. And now the government's saying, Biden's saying, I want to look, I want to tax on billionaires. If you have a billion dollars, you can afford to pay your taxes as much as a nurse pays, as much as you pay, as much as I pay. And he's got pissed about that, so now he's going after the Biden administration. Today he said uh, that he goes, he goes, he goes. I'm voting, I'm voting Republican, and uh, Joe Biden is a, the, the teleprompter thing is a, the president's the guy who runs the teleprompter. And then he said, uh, and he said, and watch that. Why, wait, look for the Democratic hit squad coming after me next. How are you the richest man on the planet and petty? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I said, no, I actually said that. I go, there is nothing worse than a fucking whiny billionaire. Yeah. You're a whiny billionaire. Shut up. Shut, like, he could what, have anything he wants. Yeah. He, he could do anything yeah. with all that power and money and influence. But, he, but that's the problem with money, man, is that you, listen, you have to be, uh, it's, I, I just, this happened three years ago. I just got okay with me. I just got okay with me. I, three years ago, I'm okay with who I am now. And imagine not having that and also having everything in the world. So you have no limitations and you don't like yourself. And you know that money can't fix it. it. Well, he doesn't know that. I think he thinks it has. That's where that cockiness comes from. But it doesn't because he's still, he, you're still on Twitter. You're still on Twitter. Why are you still on Twitter? Right.
Like, I know I am. I'm pathetic. I'm desperate and fearful. I get it. <laughs> yeah, but also you can get material out of it. You can work things yeah. out. It's kind of intertwined. Well, because my dad's not alive, I love fighting with people. I don't have someone to fight with anymore. Because <laughs> my dad's dead. I'm like, I need to fucking bitch at these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, you want to play? Because me and my dad went back and forth all the time. And my sister, we always were fighting. So when I see someone on Twitter, some, some, some dumb shit, fucking access the articles, bam, 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 bam. And then they go, yeah, man, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Blocked. All right, yeah. So anyway, I just think that we've lost... Like, like, I'm going to say this one, move on. Then I want to do the fun facts and we'll wrap it up. Life doesn't work unless you try, you're try. you trying to figure out how to make life of others better. It just doesn't fucking work. Right, yeah. It doesn't work. You know, when, when I, we sit up here and we do the Armageddon update and we, 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 we didn't get any views and we were still doing it for fun and the people that watched it thought it was great. Even for the few people that yeah, watched yeah, it, yeah, yeah. We, we were yeah, like, yeah, 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 we got, we felt something that we yeah. were like, Yeah, oh, that's funny, that's it's good, funny. it makes sense, right. Yeah. And and so, but we were trying to make a difference in the truth and whatever. So we were doing it for other people. I'm not saying I'm fucking Mother Teresa, but I'm saying, uh, by the way, who's fucking Mother Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know it came out wrong. Apologies. Um, but we, in every show I write, I try to do something. With your music, you try to make a point with it. If you're not doing something in life to help other people, you can still make money, but it, it, it it's meaningless. And Musk had took said he was going to give. I'll kill Royal, I'll give you $6 billion to help world hunger. They gave him a plan. He said no. And then he takes $40 billion and tries to buy Twitter. It's like- Even if, if, if it was the worst plan and you know it's not going to work, right. you, you would still go, here's here's for trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's $6 billion. Do what you can. Let's yeah. let's get some programs. Or, 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 or he's such a smart guy. He goes, well, okay, this plan blows. Yes. Let's. I, I'm going to have my experts go. People always think, though, Elon Musk is so genius. People don't understand that he actually- basically took the idea for Tesla from another dude. Dude took him out in the car and goes, this is what I'm doing. What do you think? He was he, uh, he made money on PayPal. And and he's like, holy shit. That guy was part of the company. Within three years, Elon kicked him he out. He could have taken that budget and gone, let's, if we just do some aluminum and some right. hard angles on it. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. I'll take up a, a yeah, sledgehammer that, to it. That's not going to... That I don't. It's funny that that that, that Cybertruck has not aged well. Yeah, I, I immediately at when it first I, looked back, I thought, "Oh, is this?" Where that's we're wild. Going? That's crazy. Yeah, all right. Oh. And then I looked at this, and I was like, "Oh, oh that looks like shit." Yeah, what is that? It, it looks like a child drew it, yeah. but the inside of it's really cool and it's fast as shit. Oh, and the suspension, it's like a, it's an off-road thing. I think, I think it's going to have a niche, but, but even he said, he goes, this is really extreme. People, some people aren't going to like it. We'll do another truck. And I'm sure they will. But the guy is smart. And like you said, with the food program, he could have actually done something. He could have yeah. been like, all right, I got access to all these experts. We're going to actually solve this. For the fucking loose change that he had in his And car. then he was like, you know what? On second thought, let me buy the fucking shit fucking app where we bitch at each other. Can I buy that instead? Is that going to make people? Uh, yeah, no, that's what I'd rather do. Where people call each other fucktards and tell them to suck my dick. Let's buy that app. And because in, in World Hunger, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that instead. So anyways, I I, uh, I think we're, uh, like you said, we're on the edge of downfall unless we get serious. And that's why I'm into it. That's why I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going down swinging. And in my little tiny, in my little tiny microscopic world, I'm going to be like, come on, let's do this. <laughs> it does oh, feel like this. Titus is fighting Ron DeSantis. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to me in, uh, in Highlander. Boy, it's, it's really obvious. We're good, but man, when she's not here, it's different. Uh, is it? <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're like, yeah, it is different. I got to talk now. <laughs> <laughs> there was an extra space where I got to talk. Uh, and now, from the annals of history, Highlander's fun fact. Did you know? Hold on, let me check which one I've got. <laughs> Do you have one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, no paper day. You memorized it. I, I just remembered Good. it. Uh, do you know how like every state has an official, uh, you know, a flower? Bird or something. Yeah, yeah, bird. yeah. Cal the bear, California bear. Yep. Do you know what the official bird of Redondo Beach is? Oh, Speaking every of city late stage capitalism. Every city has its own yeah, Every bird. city has its own. Uh, uh, the, what's the official bird of Redondo Beach? Uh, Hint, late stage capitalism. Late stage capitalism. Oh my God. Turkey? I don't know. What? No. What would it be? The Goodyear blimp. Is the bird official? Is the bird. official bird? <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously, it's not a bird. It's actually a, it's a it's a flying machine uh, because that's where they keep it. The Goodyear blimp. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but the, so but so Goodyear had to pay for that. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I mean, the official blimp, you could say, but why would you call it the official bird? Do you think they're being funny? It's not a, right. But you know, it's all so weird. Some of this shit is so weird that be, there was a, uh, the, the Santa Cruz uh, College, uh, UC Santa Cruz, had to pick their name for their, for their teams. And so it was, they let the students write it in. Don't let a bunch of college students <laughs> in California <laughs> It's just going to be a bunch of dick no, and ball no, drugs. It was the banana slugs. The Santa oh Cruz God. banana slugs. And it fucking and it won. And it fucking in. won. Yes. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? That that, okay. that year was like we fucking did it, and then yeah. next year was like the fuck is this? We got. I don't even want to buy this swag. <laughs> got a hat with just a big weird looking turd thing with an antenna on it. <laughs> it's the cyber truck of mascots. Yes, it was like that. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for listening. Hey, I want to tell you guys, uh, we are going to be in uh, Phoenix coming up, right? That's the ninth. Uh, and uh, that's coming up. So go to the ChristopherTitus.com because she would have all the information. Ray, go ahead. So anyways, guys, go to ChristopherTitus.com if you didn't hear what Ray said uh, to get all my dates. Uh, we're going to do it. Uh, I'm doing. I'm bringing back a new show, uh, so I will be on the road for June and July doing that, and then in August we go to Scotland. If you're in Scotland or in Europe and you're going to the Fringe Festival, go get tickets. Go to ChristopherTitus.com or go to the Fringe uh, Fringe website and, and get them. Uh, also, please subscribe on our YouTube channel. The subscriptions are going up. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And keep putting out stuff. Yeah. Because you can put out good stuff. Because we're, we're good at this. Hey, so uh, you, uh, I tell you what, man. The, I, the shit I write is okay. And then you either come in and it's oh, like, you, sir. Bill, you are amazing. You sir, are you're amazing. Ama no, you're Stop amazing. Stop it. You. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray in the Highlander. Later. Peace out. <laughs> I was doing I it. know, I go, yeah, after you do yours now. <laughs> oh, look at me, one. <laughs> peace out. I was going to do peace out. Peace out.